Hello everyone, it's Rainbow Runner. So, today is July 1st of 2020, so we've just entered the second half of this year. And obviously, as you all know, this road has been very interesting so far, to say the least. And it's seen many things that have changed and stuff, and I'm sure that the effects will be continue to be felt for some time and anyway so at the beginning and stuff um 2020 you know it seemed cool like yeah we're starting a new decade you know the roaring 2020s and all that jazz but of course um and as you saw i did make that rant video about, about how copa policies took effect on youtube and Stuff, but yeah, that, that was something that really annoyed me and stuff. But anyways, heading later in, um, there were some significant moments that happened in my overall life. Um, one of them being in um, at the beginning of February when um, I and my family actually got to go through the Gilbert Temple so I could be endowed. And I had lots of people with us. It was a very special moment because you know, having all my family in the temple. Powerful thing. And I had plenty of my other fellow service missionaries and stuff with me. And then we pretty much, well, I started my mission and stuff, um, like the, after that weekend and stuff, performing my missionary service, um, doing stuff like I've worked at the grounds at the temple and also at Midwest Food Bank. And and when that first month at February, it was went pretty smoothly to say, get into the swing of things. And at the beginning of March and stuff, um, everything was just kind of okay and stuff. Um, I was able to do some more um, temple ordinances with my family. And all in all, again, it was a really cool thing to have everybody everyone in my immediate family in the temple but then you know right in the middle of March that was when this whole COVID pandemic really started hammering us down um, you know mass gathering places like movie theaters and other places closed and um, then the church meetings were suspended um, so it really did um, help emphasize the importance of home-centered worship. Um, like, uh, like President Nelson and the others were saying when they adjusted to the two-hour block, um, and then, and then even my missionary service got affected, but not as much as as it could have been. Um, the, the the temple grounds did close, but. I spent that time working on pr at Project Cure instead. So, and then, um, then after that, we went into April and stuff. I think there were plenty of places, including here, where um, they ordered the stay-at-home orders. Um, and then, of course, we go and uh, there was the general conference, which was incredibly unique in this regard with it you know not being open to the public but it was also commemorating 200 years since the first vision for Joseph Smith and and that that is something interesting that I'll definitely be coming back to soon and, um, and then heading into May and stuff um, this was where things they were trying to kind of get back but then there was the spike of COVID cases and um, but of course, um, there was the, then there were other things like the George Floyd incident and you know, Governor Ducey ordering a week curfew or whatever. And it just, it really blew my mind and stuff like the COVID with, and then this, and there were just some things that really, you, you feel violated and stuff like the feeling that you can't do what you want or whatever, having to worry about this stuff, it just, 
really gets to you. And another thing is, um, uh, well, let me get the right now we are at Pima Park, and this was is kind of near where I live. Um, and I want to show you something. Um, this is the main reason why I'm here. So, yeah, Pima Park, it's, it's kind of a generic um, neighborhood kind of park. I don't know exactly how to describe it. But yeah, and, and as for this COVID thing and stuff, um, the, um, the fact that things are kind of going on and off with like facilities opening and then closing again, um, spiking in cases and all that stuff, it just is, again, blows my mind and makes me, it just, I, I don't know, it's just something I've never, I'm sure we've never seen before. But anyways, this spot right here and stuff, have, I'm, I want to have a quick moment of silence and stuff. And I'll explain why after about 10 seconds. All right, well, anyways. And yeah, as you can see, you know, like on the global scale and, and throughout the country and stuff, there have been a spree of dark moments that have happened throughout this year, but there, but on the evening of May 17th, a very dark event happened in my personal life, too. So, if you may or may not know, I am still an active player for Pokemon Go. And, I, and, and there are the, you know, the specific like, um, streak bonuses for experience, um, like first Pokemon you catch and first Pokestop you spin and all those things that that I have to do every day and so I can get a good experience bonus. So this requires me to go out even on Sunday. But one of the things that as a service missionary they wanted me to also kind of stay fit and stuff that that's pretty much how I get my exercise. But anyways this particular spot was where this really dark moment in my life took place. So the evening of the 17th, I was, you know, going and kind of like making usual laps around the park, doing my my thing, when right at the entrance right there and stuff, um, a, a red two-door car pulls up and there are two guys wearing masks and brandishing guns. They came up and they robbed me. Yeah, and it was really, a, I'm, I mean, I'm sure, and I can testify firsthand, like, again, you feel violated, like, the fact, but of course, you know, I, I was, I complied with their demands and stuff, um, but it's still that very haunting experience that, like, because the, the fact that they could have killed me regardless of whether or not I complied, but yeah, they took all the money that was in my wallet at that time and my pocket knife, and then they fled in that direction and stuff. And I feel like with it, I, there was a, a brief bit of time I could have tried to get a picture of their license plate, but I feel like they could have, they, they probably would have shot at me or took my phone or something if they did. So, but anyways, I was quick to get my parents and the police on the scene and report <laughs> this. And this was really stood out interesting because I felt like I was in Joseph Smith's in Joseph Smith's position when he was in the sacred grove calling when Satan bound him the fact that it seemed for a time he was doomed to sudden destruction and in a way Satan perverted two fellow children of God into doing this No, because of course he knows how much I mean to this world and but another thing is that the fact that criminals and, of course, Satan, they want you to believe that you can't go anywhere and do anything you want. And that's how they win and stuff. So I, so slowly but surely, I had to, you know, 
I just got back and just kept going. I had to do what he did. And there were times when I, around that same time on Saturday night, I did go to this exact spot at this exact time just to, you know, to walk it again, just to restore my feeling of confidence and my feeling of safety. And the fact that this type of stuff is rare, but it does happen, it's just something. And so, and then, but there were some good moments that came out of this too. Um, yeah, as you know that last year I was part of Chandler High School's class of 2019 graduating, but I also had some friends who were part of the class of 2020. And of course, you know, school being canceled, um, sorry, my hand's kind of shaking, but school being canceled and all that stuff, I felt real pity and stuff. And, you know, I was in, and as you may or may not know, I was in choir for all four years of high school with my director, Lori Lyford and stuff. Um, yeah, Lyford was originally intending to go one more year and stuff, but but she decided to retire early because of this COVID. And there were some good things and stuff, um, like me being able to join many of the the current and former students, the alumni, and and giving a proper final performance for life. This that ended up being on the news. Um, and another th- cool thing was that I was on the news when I was performing my service at Midwest. So there were some good things that did come. And then moving into June, um, yeah, again there was the all the George Floyd stuff going on, um, and I do have some, some some opinions regarding that, but I will politely refrain from sharing it because I feel like not, now is neither the time nor the place because I don't really want to spark some huge political debate. But anyways, yeah, that went down, um, but then things have gone on and off, like particularly. Um, like opening and then closure again of certain things and mass required or eh, some places and just stuff that blew my mind and with all that I desperately needed some respite for this and and then as you know um, my family from Utah particularly my cousins Peyton and Olivia they visited and, and which was pretty nice and then we went back with them to Utah and then you've seen my videos I'm um, I, I was able to have some fun at Lagoon, but then my immediate family went to uh, more states and stuff, um, three of them being new additions, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. But of course, they did visit Idaho and New Mexico as well. But, but all in all, this year has definitely been um, interesting. Um, it is there were plenty of dark moments and stuff, but it's always good to find the light in things as well. Because again, as I, as I said before, while some years are greater than others, every year does have its great moments. And, and 2020 is definitely no exception to this. All right. Well, anyways, I just wanted to make this kind of, personal vlog and stuff kind of give you guys something that's gone down oh yeah and something else i i did get to do is um i did get to meet mark and neander paul of 100.7 kslx um for the cause for for pause event um up in north phoenix um and then yeah so anyways and i guess that all the, the stuff that has been going down this that's kind of affected my my passion to make videos maybe to a little bit of extent but I just wanted to know you just wanted to fill you in guys about what has gone down with with me personally this year all right well I, I hope you guys understand I'd like to thank you all for supporting me on this um and I know that there will be some good times to come ahead um I know that one day we'll be celebrating our freedoms from the, this, from the COVID business. Um, and I know that one day um, those robbers will get karma for, for assaulting an innocent soul. And, 
and all in all, I know that good times will be ahead. And I know that uh, more content will be coming soon. So, anyways, thank you again, everybody. You guys mean the world to me. I'm grateful to have some such a loyal fan base here on YouTube. And so just stay tuned. Again, more content will be coming soon. And Rainbow Runner will be heading out.